Well, here's a great video to see if a turtle can flip over himself back over on his feet again or not. So, what do you think? Can he do it? While we're waiting, I've got some more parts here. Uh, two more headlight holder or fender extensions. You guys see all that? No, not really. Hmm. So here's another hardware kit here. This white one's missing the spring. I don't know if you can see that turtle sticking his head out, but not any of his Nothing else. Huh. Well, almost. Gotta try a little harder. Whoops. better angle. So I think uh, this spring should go this way somehow. Oh, okay. Let's get some pliers. I'm probably going to get voted as the most boring YouTube video ever made, ever, all my videos. Let's see here, put it in this way. Whoops, I dropped it. Okay, we'll try again. Looks like it's clipped in that hole. Yeah. Now, if only I can get it in the other one. Oh, just got it, yeah. Okay, so now we got a spring. I'm not sure if we want to replace these. I guess we can see if they screw in and out. Put a little oil. Try it. Oil it in here. And put 
put our light in. Oh, this light's not in very good shape. Hmm. Oh well, well, let's just use it to see if we can get this mess together. Got some little squares back here. That seems to fit. Let's get the little trim ring. There we go. Huh, okay. Let's see if we can get the screws in. Somewhere in here should be the right screw. Maybe. Maybe not. That looks like it. About a half inch number eight. Sheet metal screw. Oh, here's some really aggressive screws. I'm not sure where those go. have to look into that. It could be for the bezel, or as the Mustang people call them, the headlight door, which makes no sense because they don't open, so why would you call it a door, but they do. Here's another one. Just need one more. Now you can see a turtle chin there. Wow, big stretch. Okay, I'm going to put a washer on. Oh, almost turned himself over. See, this is great. You get to see two shows at the same time. So, if you think I'm boring, you can just look at the turtle. And if you think the turtle's boring, you can look at what I'm doing.
Turn it till you feel it gets a little close. I mean, it's flush, and give it another fourth of a turn or, or a little somewhere in there. It's tight enough. Okay. Well, that doesn't really fit right. Well, the original uh, retaining ring that I welded back together fits better than this brand new aftermarket ring. So if you're considering which to do, you probably should try to keep the original one, maybe. Unless I just got a bad one, but probably not. Okay. But if it's okay after some, well, a little bit crooked here, it doesn't fit as well as the other ring. It's slightly slightly tighter than it should be. Well, the adjuster's turning. Okay, that's, uh, I guess we call that success. Now we can move on to this one. This one's more, more destroyed. It has a broken piece on the top and in the back side. This one doesn't even have a spot for the hook of the spring to hook onto, so if you see one that looks like this, probably just don't buy it. It's really, really junked. Well, maybe with some luck we can put the headlight door on. Let me go get it.
Is that the right side? The correct side? No, the other one was correct. That really fits awful. Okay, so now we just need to figure out which kind of clips holds it on. I'm gonna say should be these black ones and should be four of them these little ones Hey, there's one in there already. An old one. Now, what kind of screw just goes in there? Huh, I don't know what that goes, what that does. Maybe this screw? Let's see. Looks to be. That's a real big screw, though. Looks like, well, it's bigger than 10, a little bit, so it's probably a 12 screw. Corrosion prevention. Yeah, those. Yes, it is these screws. We got one in.
Okay, so it fits. I think I got... Well, that's enough for this video.